Hello, my name is Tanya. Um, I'm just making this video just to guess, talk about me. I guess, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just making this video just to kind of put this out there. Um, so, I, I guess you would call me a deep transitioner because I identified as a trans man from, I guess, like about when I was 13 up to like 19 years old. Uh, that's also the timeline of when I went on testosterone. Um, although, even after um, I stopped testosterone at 19, but that was because of medical issues, and I was still technically identifying as trans, like socially, like I was still living as a guy. I mean, I had my name like legally changed and all that, and that's like a real pain to undo, but um, yeah, I just like, I was just, and after some time, I just kind of, like, from reflecting, I just decided to try living as a woman again, um, and I'm 23 now, so it's been about, like, 19, 20, it was, like, between 20 and, like, I'd say 21, where I was having that kind of, like, thinking process, like, um, and I do remember, like, at 19, when I went off of testosterone, I had, like, a really bad depressive episode which now I think was because so when I had stopped I stopped because my um testosterone levels were like over 2000 pg uh ml or that's like the unit they used to measure it in your blood and I stopped because that number scared me because it was like really high um and I stopped cold turkey um I decided not to go back I I went to Howard Brown and I I decided not to go back um so I just like yeah I mean then I didn't know it but you know that was a really big drop in hormone levels and a big adjustment for my body to make which is why you know I, I suffered from the big depressive episode but that did clear up like after a few months and I did get my period back but that came back like really like really painful um it was like, I, like, usually for my period, I don't have, like, I have cramps, but they're not that bad. They're, like, very mild. Um, but this one, like, I, like, when I would feel the pain, I couldn't move. And even, like, moving would make the pain worse. Um, and I was basically bedridden. Um, and that lasted for a while until I, uh, you know, went to my doctor and got on birth control. Um, but I didn't stay on birth control long just because ever since like going off of testosterone I just feel like I'm just going on another hormone even if it is technically the female sex hormones um, I went on progesterone so it's just a mini pill I just I didn't want to put my body through more than what it had already been through with the testosterone so I went off of birth control but my period still managed to normalize and the pain didn't like that really bad pain did not come back which I'm very thankful for um and I was p taking pain meds <laughs> so um but yeah I don't know I'm just like this is um this video is not like very well thought out I'm just like talking on the go here um but yeah I just so that would have been like like 19 to 20 to 21 and then I decided to you know try to detransition um because I I'd seen like videos of other D-trans like women and stuff like that and I felt like I could relate and I found that D-trans subreddit which was very useful to for me it was like my venting place um and just being able to ask for advice and stuff like that like really helped me a lot um and I decided that I'd like rather just try to live my life as a masculine woman and like you know wear what I want to wear and not like not try to live as a man um and it is hard, I'm not like, this is still an ongoing process for me, even like, even at 23, I still deal with gender dysphoria, um, like, I remember when I first detransitioned, I tried to dress feminine, like, I never even got to going out my hair, I, I, I don't know, like, my hair gets to a certain length, and I feel like I have to shave it, like, I, um, because long hair makes me uncomfortable, and, like, that's one of my like dysphoria issues and then like anything I like anything in the women's department of the clothing store makes me uncomfortable I have very black and white thinking so I see something that's either masculine or feminine and like and like the neckline can do with the sleeve the fabric like it, it 
I mean, I know it's a me thing, so I'm just, but yeah, I'm just saying like, uh, women's clothing, uh, longer hair, um, being called lady, like, I don't want to be called lady, um, I'm fine with being called a woman, though, I just, for some reason, certain words, for me, have an association with, like, being, like, suit, like, lady, I, I picture a woman in a dress, or, like, someone who is super feminine, or something like that, like, I feel like there's an expectation upon me on, like, the way I have to act if someone, and, like, I remember, like, in, um, elementary school, the teacher would call us, you know, ladies and gentlemen, um, and that, and I knew I was within the group of lady, and that made me, oh, that's my cat, Coco. Coco, say hello to everyone. <laughs> he's, he's chilling out with me. I have social anxiety, so I'm um, making these videos are like, kind of exposure therapy, and I feel better if my cat's in the same room with me, but yeah, I just, like, I don't know. So back to like, you know, being called lady, um, clothes, um, the type of expectations like, um, oh, also periods. I don't think it's like so much the actual period itself, but I do notice that like the week before my period is due, um, I definitely get more depressed. Um, and I do get like dysphoria spikes. I get a lot of like back and forth thinking between wanting to live as a man than, than trying to just be okay with being a woman. It's like, it's pretty hard because even though I have been detransitioning for a while, I am still read as male in public and it's hard for me to accept myself as a woman when all the external feedback I get from other people is that they don't see me that way and which causes me to do things like not use the woman's restroom because, you know, I go in there and I think, oh, well, I don't like going there, but like... I mean, like, the few times when I did try to, like, say, okay, you know, I'm detransitioning now, you know, I should go use the woman's system. That caused me so much anxiety just because I felt like I was going to make everyone else uncomfortable. And I thought those, like, and it's not even, like, the um, the whole rhetoric with the whole trans woman. I, I thought that I looked like a trans woman because, you know, I'm more masculine, but then I'm going by um, Tanya and stuff like that. So, and then also, like, I know that um, butch woman, um, um... I know I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. I Sometimes I pronounce words weirdly. Uh, I was born in Ukraine, and I, English isn't, like, really a second language, but it kind of is at the same time. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm fluent in English, but, like, I, I did not, I was not born in a country where they were speaking English. I only came to the United States when I was three. So, but, yeah, I just, like, the bathroom, because I just, I'm just, I, I'm always anxious, and, like, even before transition I was mistaken for a guy and I've um this wasn't even in the bathroom it was in a changing room um me and my family were visiting my aunt and uncle and we were and there was like some indoor swimming like park thing or something like that and I you know obviously I was with my sister and my aunt and some you know woman who was probably in her 40s but she was like she was fully naked and she approached me and said, you know, you're like, young man, you're in the wrong, um, you're in the wrong changing room. And it took my sister telling her that I'm not a man, I'm actually, you know, I'm her sister that she left me alone. And it's, like, memories like that, that, like, really stand out to me. Like, just, I mean, that happened such a long time ago, but I'm always afraid of something like that happening again. Because I'm not a confrontational person. I get, like, I, I kind of freeze um, if someone, like, approaches me or stuff like that. Then also, like, the other thing is, like, my voice. Like, you know, I, I was on the star Storm for a long time. You can't see it now, but I shaved my face. But, yeah, you can't really see it. I shaved my face just today. But I go facial hair here. Get, I get, like, little kind of dots of hair here. And then I go here, like here. I don't grow it, like, here, here. And not really a mustache. I have little hairs, but they're not, like, they're not thick. The thickest is, like, from here and here, like, sideburns. But, yeah, like, it's my voice and then, like, I the way I dress. You know, I wear all men's clothing. And, you know, I have short hair. Um, so, I just I just figure all of that plus my deep voice. And um, it's not, like, people aren't going to view me as a woman. So, I just avoid the women's um, cha changing rooms if I'm going swimming. Um, and then the bathroom. So, yeah, and... Yeah, that's, you know, um, 
But yeah, I mean, if there's any questions you guys have, you know, that's cool too. I'm just uh, saying whatever's on my mind. I didn't really have a plan. This is like an introduction video. Like I do on my YouTube, I do like um have my live streams. Like, you know, I like to play video games. It's kind of like, like therapy for me. Um, And I am going to be making videos about my Etsy because I'm trying to start up a business. <laughs> um, Because I do like a lot of paintings and stuff like that. And I just like, I don't know, I really like art. And art is also a way I've been um, processing, like, basically trying to be okay with being a woman. Because, like, ever since I've been detransitioning, I've been, I still feel like I'm missing something. Like, like, there's a big, di like, I feel like, I feel like, you know how they say men come from Mars and women come from Venus? I feel like I come from a different planet from women. Like, I just, I feel so mentally different than women. Like, I mean, I grew up as a guy, like, I spent middle school, high school, and, you know, my young adulthood, um, as a guy, like, I, I didn't see my, I mean, I did, I knew I was a trans guy, but I saw myself as one of the guys, like, that's, um, then the way I interacted with, like, um, uh, female classmates or female friends, although I had mostly guy friends, um, when I transitioned, like, I remember it was all the, my, the classmates that were girls, they were, like, all super supportive of my, like, they even helped me, like, get my teachers to be okay with my new name. I was, I was going by Damon. That was my trans guy name. Um, and, but then once I started on testosterone, the dynamic changed. I was no longer, you know, I was obviously their classmate, but I wasn't, like, a peer. I wasn't in their group anymore. And then... I went to a therapeutic day school, <laughs> um, and I'm not going to talk about that. That's, like, more personal, but, like, at that school, there was only, it was, like, um, it was technically two schools in one building, and in the building I was in, I would say 90% of the people there were, were male. Like, I was surrounded by other guys, and I, I mean, there were obviously some girls there, but the guys there outnumbered them by a lot. And there was a big bro culture, and, like, they would say no homo, like, they would say I love you, but no homo, or stuff like that. So, I just kind of, like, I don't know, I, I would say I learned the social dynamics of, like, how guys, I guess, like, you know, male friendships with, you know, men. And none of them at the high school, at least, because at the high school, I, I, um, I, I had been transferred to that um, therapeutic day school, and that was my high school. And no, no one except for the staff knew that I was trans. All the guys thought I was a guy. They, I, they did make a comment about my voice because I know my voice isn't as low as some guys' voices. They said I sounded like a pubescent, like a, a guy that hadn't gone through puberty or something. Um, I, I do remember that because that was like kind of a jerk move on the person who said that. Um, it was like the first day there or whatever and... They just decided to make that comment towards me or whatever, and then they got in trouble. <laughs> but, um, I didn't say anything back. I, I was just, I was, it wasn't nice, and that did not make me feel good. Because, obviously, I was disappointed back then, and I wanted to be perceived as a guy. Um, but now I'm just trying to accept that I'm a woman, although accept that I'm a masculine woman, which is also hard to do, because I just, I look at the women around me, and even, like, the tomboy the women who aren't, like, super feminine, they, they, I can still, like, they still are women to me, versus me, I just, like, I don't, I don't, like, I still don't see myself as the same as women, so it, it's a, I don't know, it's a process, it's gonna take a long time, you know, I like to say that, like, my transition took, like, 13 to 19, so 6, and then maybe 7, 8, because, you know, even after I, I stopped to start, you know, I'm still identifying as trans. And during my detransition, I did have, like, two relapses, well, maybe three relapses on testosterone. Because I had a lot of back and forth because I would get frustrated that I wasn't being perceived as a woman. And I was too uncomfortable to change the way I dress and to grow out my hair. Like, like dysphoria is a real issue with that. Um, And so I would just, I would be like, okay, well, it's better to be... You know, to live as a guy than to live as a woman that's never going to be seen as a woman or something like that. Like, that was kind of like the rhetoric that was going on in my head. Um, and I don't know, like, I still get those thoughts every now and then. But I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, you know, 
I don't know, I'm just, and I get told that I look like a woman by, you know, all the D-trans women that, um, or, you know, that are part of, like, I'm part of a Discord group and stuff like that, and they tell me I look like a woman, and I, like, I don't know, like, I, I don't really see it, but they, I guess it's body dysmorphia, um, cause, I don't know, like, it, it's complicated, but yeah, I just wanted to, like, make this video and just, like, you know, put this out there, um, Depending on, like, I'm afraid of getting a whole bunch of negative feedback specifically from the trans community. Um, but I'm not really trying to speak on, like, political stuff or, like, my thoughts about transition. I'm just going to keep those private, at least for now. Just because I'm, like, I'm just talking about my experience. And I don't, like, I don't, like, feel like I'm not trying to become an activist or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to move on. And, um you know, I guess process what I'm going through and stuff like that. So, you know, like, yes, I will make these videos and I'll talk about it within the context of my experience of it. But I don't want people to think that, um, that I'm, I don't know, I just, you know, I just don't want, like, people to take my videos of, as being something political, like a far right thing or or something like that like I'm that's not like what I'm trying to do I definitely don't want like political groups to like I don't know I don't think they would because I don't have much of a presence on YouTube <laughs> so I don't like but I don't know I just feel like it'd be good like like making these videos are good for me one to work on social anxiety and two just to more awareness that it does happen but I'm not gonna like I don't know I just there's I'm always more than one side to any problem. Um, that's as much as I'll say. Like there's there's like you know like um it, I get, I guess something good to relate it to is like um wars are always like told by the winners or something like that. Like the version of events happened by I don't know like may, maybe you guys don't get it. I'm just thinking of whatever. I I remember talking about stuff like this with my dad. And I had a really smart analogy, but now I now it's not coming out right. But yeah, I just wanted to say hi and you know, just I guess if you have any thoughts, put them down. Um hope everyone is doing well and yep. Okay, bye bye.